Welcome back to Night in the Woods. After a horrible night at the party with B, it's time to go to sleep. But hey, some good came of that. Mayday, BB. Stuck together, don't suck together. Seriously though, that party went absolutely horribly. Let's go to sleep. I'm always grimly curious each night. How worse are the dreams gonna get? What are we gonna see tonight? Oh. Interesting. I guess the the creature that we spoke with did say that you wouldn't be like you wouldn't see me again, right? I guess that means no more dreams. Huh. That just feels weird. Away message. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. Hey kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hello, May. Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. Science beat. New research indicates that things don't necessarily have to be as bad as they are. That is very true. All I've been doing is just playing the TikTok song again and again, trying to get it perfect because it's so fun to play. Ah, still missing some parts of it though. It's like I almost need to just look back at the video and slow it down and figure out exactly what's going on because I've kind of plateaued on the parts that I can't seem to get. Hey bird. Things are like really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. You feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm gonna make you an appointment with, appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh jeez, mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult, I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Okay. I'm gonna go. Sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I've got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. Oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Has only been a few days? It feels like forever since we found that. Oh really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. The arm belonged to a middle-aged man and medium build and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay. Yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. 
Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Wanna hear a new poem? Of course. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh. Longest night, longest night, night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. You noticed anything, like, weird around here lately? Weird as in... Missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring. But he weren't a kid no more. Might be someone else, but from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know, I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. <laughs> Forecast is... Thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna actually be here long enough for the seasons to change, you know? Are we gonna see this place when it's snowy? Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Oh my god, that squirrel has two acorns. Yeah, two acorns. Got a double. Oh right, Bruce is gone. Looks like they left some of their stuff there. Well, I guess they can only take so much with them. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Uh, actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He... what? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. I don't know, it did seem a little bit too perfect, didn't it? What Bruce was saying? That, like, their entire family's waiting for them at home? Everything's great, they just need to go back? I don't know, it sounds more like a dream than anything. I hope it's true, but... I don't know. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hon. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. <laughs> Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, Mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days. But it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Door back there is unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. A new room in the church. Oh, I was thinking I'd actually be able to take a nap. I can't. But I could just chill here on this couch. Uh, what? Okay. Oh, whew. 
Christ, for a second I thought I was turning into a freaking ghost or something. No, you just stay there for a while and I guess you fall asleep. Uh... Is that... Granddad? Just hanging out with us. I think that might be our grandfather, but I'm not sure what our grandfather actually looks like. Come on, that was really sweet. I wonder how I'm supposed to read that, though. I mean, it didn't... I... That didn't appear to me to be something that May was dreaming about. I don't know if May was even aware that they were there. It seemed like that was more for us, the viewer. That May was sleeping and... We saw that... The, I, I think the grandfather was kind of watching over May, but I don't think May was aware of that. You okay? Yeah. I'm like... Only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. I feel like that won't fix this one. One time I got pneumonia. And I had to go to school anyway. Isn't that contagious or something? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. May, are you okay? Hmm. May. Ah, oh, sorry. Spaced out there for a sec. <laughs> you should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem? Alright, well, I'll probably see you later. Probably. Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode. So, yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Oh, look at this! They're together now! I went to the violin person and they weren't there in their usual spot, so I was worried they were just gone gone, but... I guess they found each other without me even doing anything else other than what I already did. <laughs> that is so cool. Hey? Hey? Hello. You guys gonna play together? Yeah. Thanks for making this happen, kid. <laughs> wow. Huh. What? I just realized that, like, I did something helpful. Like, I came up with a plan and did something good. Is that strange? I feel like I just stumble into things all the time. Introducing you two is like... I, I meant to help out two strangers. And I did. And now you're gonna play together. And fall in love. What? No. I'm in a long-term monogamous relationship. I'm not in the market. And my son takes up most of my attention. Oh. Did I make it weird? You made it weird. Very weird. Damn it. <laughs> hey, Germ. Hey, May. Totally, what's up? Other than the obvious. You seem... something, too. 
Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. No prob. I gotta get home. Where do you live? Across the parking lots, up the hill. Back in the woods. Huh. I've never been back there. I have. Yes, you have. See ya. I wondered what happened to them. They don't just disappear, they just kind of go a different way that you can't see. Behind the stairs. Like a ghost. Maybe Germ is the ghost. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with... I'm just going to say Angie every time still. Ghost hunting with Angie. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello? And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person? Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, uh, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angie who doesn't believe me. I'm Angie and this is May. She's a crazy person. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Just had to try, see if there was anything to the right. Walk all the way back to town. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Can I climb up this hill? Oh, whoa, I can. What's up here? Old, uh, furnace? Fireplace thing? Another one. Hmm. I should go back for Angus. He'd go back to me. Yeah, they would. Oh, oh. You alright? Yeah. I got asthma is all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like... a lime kiln, I think. Kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone? You like, do something with it in there. 
and it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone is weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. I know, right? Like, right where we're standing. There were like ancient, horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Whew. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. So if this place was underwater... Why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. No, seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creatures, sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost at the top. Whoa, holy crap. It's dark. Now we're going to be walking back to the car through a spooky forest. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. It used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing? Where it was, like, the Miners versus National Guard? Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the Miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh. Huh. There's, like, a few old graveyards up here from, like, colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere, too. Well... That's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. What a view. Wow, we're up really high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. 
So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me. You're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... Uh, I think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh well. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay then. <laughs> 